All right, welcome back to Spy Fox in Cheese Chase, everybody. We cleared the Arctic area that had exploding cakes and ice cream. Now I wonder where we're going. Are we back to the World's what? Fair? Fix the wings on this thing. Oh, not the World's Fair. We're going on, going for the airport. So now it's going to be the sky levels, I guess. Magic carpet. Do not hit the ducks. That is unacceptable. No! The ducks! Take that. Hey, get out of my way! This is this is insane. So it doesn't look like there are any walls here. No. No! I'm sorry, ducks. Why don't they knock each other off there? That way, oh no, the stinky cheese! How could we? Oh my gosh! I can't believe I didn't and crash there. You want more of Spy Fox's banana cream pie dessert? Shebane! I got shoved into that airplane. Okay, it's hard to tell what's gonna be a wall here and what's not. <laughs> hey, Marty, welcome. Uh, well. Backyard Baseball, we won by a healthy amount, and now we're playing Spy Fox Cheese Chase, and I'm trying not to hit ducks. Yeah, you better you better bail out of your plane for hitting those ducks. These are some wonky hitboxes. Darn it, that's where the Limburger cheese is. No, why, why are those ducks making chicken noises? Look out for the towers, that's... yeah, probably. Yeah! Oh! That is not an enemy! That is a giant biplane that we've got to avoid. Out of my way! Spy Fox doesn't have time to, for any of these shenanigans. I've got to go to Paris. <laughs> I have a hot date waiting for me there. I wonder if we'll see uh, Kid Secret Blimp. Yeah! <laughs> Where's Monkey Penny? Um, I don't think Monkey Penny's in this game, unfortunately. Live and Let Fly, that's a good name. I like the James Bond reference. Oh my gosh! Wait, how did I not... Cr how did he crash, but I didn't? I'll take it, but... You know, it's weird how there's so much open air when you're flying, and yet everybody seems to be crashing into each other. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't put your phone on airplane mode, I guess. <laughs> Why is airplane mode even still... Like, is, are we seriously... Have we seriously not evolved airplane technology to the point where we can have cell phones using the Wi-Fi? Like, really? I can't believe that. Am I the only one who thinks that, like, am I the only one who thinks the fact that you need to have, like, Wi-Fi turned off on your, uh, while you're on the airplane is really... That was a cloud. Apparently, clouds insta-kill you if you touch them. Even though I'm pretty sure I was touching clouds in the past and nothing happened. These guys are too good at avoiding my darts. Yeah, like, those clouds are fine. Apparently that one was a no-no, though. Or did I run out of gas? Duh! Let me guess, if you hit the kites, then... Oh, that that's weird. So those clouds are made of metal, apparently? Who's throwing metal clouds up in the sky? Also, the levels are definitely getting longer. 
but <laughs> Spy Fox just ramming people out of the sky. There we go. Cheese is serious business. Why, yes it is. I love playing the classic game of I can't tell what's going to make me crash. Uh oh, I missed the weapons. There we go. I need my banana cream pie. Because everybody is trying to siphon out my gas because it's so expensive these days. <laughs> That's the real lore behind why all these guys are chasing us. They're like, he has gasoline. We can siphon it out and save a couple bucks. <laughs> Hard times really do bring out the worst in people. <laughs> Uh, I am only let's play in one Spy Fox game right now, actually. Ooh, that was on you. <laughs> I'm glad they give you plenty of weapons in case you miss one by accident. I also gotta say, this world is definitely giving me some Balloonorama vibes with all the balloons. Wow, we have free stuff we can fire at the same time. Well, okay. Not anymore. Apparently my banana cream pie hit somebody. Where exactly are we that has all of these like random towers sticking up? Phew! Thank goodness there was some gasoline. <laughs> and thank goodness I can put gasoline in my like What are these children attaching to their kites? I touched a children's kite, a child's kite, and it's just like, you disintegrated. Like, um, no. <laughs> That's not how kites work. <laughs> and if there's one thing Spy Fox is known for, it's realism. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's some violent plane crashes. It's okay, though. Every single one of them is able to bail out of their plane with a parachute. Ah, yes, Egypt, where they have balloons with cheese. I missed a gas can back there. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. It's okay. We keep getting extra lives. <laughs> Oh, good. Okay. Another gas can. We got it. Okay, avoid children's kites at all costs. Apparently they attach... Oh, I hate... What?! Well, where could... Wait, where could I have possibly gone?! The entire screen was filled up with stuff that... Wait, how could I have gotten through that? There was literally the entire horizontal part of that screen was filled up with stuff that would have made me crash into them. I also think at this point the levels are getting a little too long, at least if you don't have checkpoints on them. Uh, this is probably going to sound dumb. Probably my favorite Beatles song is Yellow Submarine. <laughs> it's just so doggone catchy. You have to... That is evil putting that at the very end of the level! <laughs> See, I just curing it. Okay, this, this world's getting pretty crazy. Oh boy. Oh, I thought those were sub-sandwiches. They are pies. Get 
out of my way. It would be nice if we could shoot stuff backwards. That would be pretty cool. Well, I could... I sure could go for some gas right about now. They're just relentless! Apparently you can go through the plane wings. I'm not gonna try it, though, if I can help it. Oh, we need more gasoline! That's okay. No, we didn't need more gasoline. There we go. Phew! A view to a cheese. I'm waiting for a level called Mission Impossible. Oh, no. Oh, move it. I will not... Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, these levels are getting a little crazy. And I'm pretty sure we still got a good amount of the game left. Pie with cheese attached? Oh, you can go through that. Or pie. A balloon with cheese attached? Oh, you can go for that. A balloon without cheese attached? Oh, that's gonna bounce you backwards. It's like, what? It is? Move it. <laughs> Spy Fox coming through. I have a lot of cheese and I don't care to share it. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Alright, the last few levels have been quite short. Alright, a Mesa Bridges. That's probably a reference to something that I don't get. Some big oh those are those are not big boy cheeses, those are like desert cliffs or whatever. <laughs> that was on you, bro. You volunteer you're just like Spy Fox is on the other side of this rock. Let's fly into the rock. Hey boss, I don't know how it happened, but I crashed my plane and I had to bail out over Egypt. Could you pick me up? <laughs> Lord, uh, Mom, can you pick me up? Spy Fox shot my plane down. I'm alive, it's fine, but I'm, I'm stranded in Egypt now. Can you come pick me up? Oh no, alright. Uh, I guess I'll call an Uber then. Oh no! These bridges are weird. You would think with the spy airplane we could just fly higher over all of this. But alas, no we cannot. Move it. Ouch, <laughs> that looked painful. <laughs> job, Spy Fox. I need to start firing this stuff as soon as I hear enemies coming. That's gonna make my life a lot easier, actually. No! Shebane! Sounds like another one of those dumb new Marvel superheroes they're introducing. Shebane! It's a superhero with explosives, and she's a girl. It's like, okay, is that, like, really relevant? <laughs> We're gonna make it relevant. Oh boy, I can't wait to not watch that. <laughs> Darn it, all the green cheese is lowering my top score a little bit. 
I gotta make sure I beat all of the other people who have <laughs> gotten high scores in this. All zero of them. Because this is the first time I'm playing through this game. I, I need to be periodically picking up gasoline a little bit more. Okay, we'll go on this side then. Enjoy your trip. We're not going through... Nope. Out of the sky! Thanks for joining in, DX, and have a good night. I never feel... I always... I always crash right before the end of a level. Alright, what's the... Oh, no, it's taking a while. Mesa Con Quesa. Ooh, I like the groovy music. I bet it was loading in the new groovy music. That or this level's gonna be real long. Ooh. I'm kind of intrigued to see what the custom level editor is gonna be like as well. I'm wondering if it's going to be like the Sockworks level editor, where it's like anything they made in the game you can make in the level editor, or if it's going to be like a primitive version of Shebane, not again! <laughs> Come on! Thank goodness we found all of this. Thank goodness all of these civilians were kind enough to fill up these gas tanks and attach them to helium balloons. All in the hopes that some spy is going to pick them up later. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> I can't help but notice that the hit detection on the stuff you shoot can be a bit wonky at times. <laughs> Look, you chose to drive after me. Spy Fox did not make you do that. You chose this line of work. Wait, can you fly on that? It looked like it was going to be a wall, so I didn't even try. Oof. Maybe we're flying over Briny Gulch from Freddy Fish. That looked like we were going to crash going through that, but I'm glad we didn't. Alright, Cheesy Goons del Sendrer, or however you pronounce that. Cool. Yum, yum, eat it all. Oh man, I should have gotten a banana. I hate bananas in real life, but in Spy Fox Cheese Chase, I appreciate them. Got wider coverage than pies somehow. You know, I gotta say, I just, I don't think in real life bananas are wider than pies, but... Oof. I cringe a little bit every time I crash the enemies into the <laughs> cliff tops. Like, their entire vehicle just disintegrates. But then they're like, it's okay, we're okay. We can bail out. <laughs> are we there yet? Yes, we are. Cool. Level two more levels in the desert. Desert Fox! Hasn't that been literally every level in this world? They're so filled with bloodlust for Spy Fox that they're just like, Spy Fox crash into everything! <laughs> Didn't see the water tower there. Also, I recognize this music. This is the music that plays when you're chasing Russian Blue in the car in Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. Which is a great game, by the way.
I like how you can hear the enemies before they move on screen. It gives you time to, like, preemptively shoot. And that's definitely the key to dealing with these annoying enemies. The enemies aren't even nearly as dangerous as the Maze Madness enemies, but it's still nice to take care of them. Woo woo! All right, level 40, last desert level, here we go. Conspiracy can Canyon. For me, I think the biggest conspiracy has been all of these children's kites just making my plane disintegrate. No, not Shebane again! The worst superhero. And I say that when we live in a world where there is a superhero called Ant-Man. Actually, no. Shebane... Does Shebane sound like she would be a better superhero than She-Hulk? Maybe not. Maybe maybe they're in the same caliber. Wow, I crashed into the rock, but the other guy flew over it, then crashed into the rock behind it. Wait, I'm doing the pack villain. No! She Bane, stop it! <laughs> I missed the pies. Ah, oh, dog on it. Shebane is on a rampage today. That guy just always rams into the water tower, just due to where he spawns in. Take that, take that, take that. I've got more pies where they came from. Not a lot more, but I do have more. I really could go for some more ammo. I am running low on bananas. Repeat, I am running low on bananas. <laughs> Copy that, Spy Fox. I'll work on a new spy gadget. It's the spy gun. It just kills people. Quack, this is a children's game. We can't have real guns. We'll have to save that for the dark and gritty Spy Fox reboot. There we go. Now, I don't necessarily think we have time to do 10 more levels, but I'm going to try to do it anyways. Yes, I love this music. I am too. Back on the spy scooter. Are we back to world one again? <laughs> we this is this is this is world one again. Just more difficult. Is is Russia Boo just leading us on a wild goose chase all throughout the world over and over again? Oh great, now we have to slip on a bunch of stuff. Now I'm really on a roll. That's what Spy Fox says when he makes Spy Fox uh, buns at his bakery. Maybe there are only 50 levels. You'd think we could just call for more backup to chase Russian Blue, but no, Spy Fox insists on chasing after her for the entire game all by himself. Why do I get the feeling this game is going to get really tough? That we're, we're either approaching the end of the game or we're approaching the halfway point of the game. I think this is either going to have 50 levels or 200 levels. Or 200, 100 levels. And unless it decides to pull up a Lunarama and be like, <laughs> No, now there's even more! A little more Podunk. Okay. Oof. I gotta run. I can just run them off the road. No, not again. You think this is the halfway point? I kind of figured. Oh, 
This didn't really seem like Final World in terms of its like atmosphere since it's just World 1 again, but you never know. No fair. Oh wait, I have pies. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> also, I swear it's not really intentional, but I'm often doing the Spy Fox voice during this, but oftentimes I'm just like, it's not like I'm in doing it intentionally, it just comes out. Whoa, wait, what? Wait, did I just run out of gas? I... I... <laughs> I was traveling down the road, and then I hit a little bit of gravel, and then I just, like, flew off the scooter and died. Well, as much as you can die in a kid's game. These pies aren't doing a whole lot. They, ke they keep phasing through the enemies. I guess we're gonna have to avoid gravel wherever we can. Easier said than done, it's kind of everywhere. We'll give you an extra life, but it'll kill you in the process. Good deal, right? Also, we had 200,000 points, and I didn't even notice. Look at all this cheese that's just lying out. Man, Russian Blue must have... She must have stolen a lot of cheese, and it, like... How much cheese did she steal, and it's just, like, constantly falling out of her car? It's like, oh, shoot, I left the sunroof open. <laughs> Doggone it! Also, Spy Fox is just eating the cheese as he goes. It's like, I recovered the- I got the cheese from Poodles- from Poodles- from Russian Blue! It's like, thank you very much, Spy Fox. Please return the cheese now. I ate it! You what? That's right, I thought it was my reward, so I ate it. Spy Fox, that was the most valuable cheese in all the world, <laughs> and you ate it and we can never get it back. Well, it was pretty delicious. <laughs> At least the goon voices are hilarious. Do do do. We're getting more lives every stream. This is pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, yes. Man, these levels are a lot easier than the Egypt levels were. Share and share alike. Why, why are you... Are we gonna have to share the road? Spy Fox doesn't share the road with evildoers. I kill them instead. <laughs> I haven't been able to kill people in any of the other Spy Fox games. I'm going to make up for it here. <laughs> Look at all of these car accidents I'm going to cause. <laughs> I know. Spy Fox, you ate 200,000 pieces of cheese? Well, technically, I ate, like, only 20,000 pieces of cheese, because each one counts for 10 points. <laughs> that doesn't make it much better, Spy Fox. <laughs> You still ate cheese in the thousands categories. <laughs> well, it is one of my favorite foods after pancakes. <laughs> Spy Fox is too good of a character to not have more games. Wow, the, yeah, these levels are way quicker than the desert levels. Freeze the little pigs. Are we going to have piggy piggy enemies? Or are we just going to keep having the monkeys in the steamrollers? Oh no! I got tag teamed! <laughs> I don't know, we're causing a lot of traffic accidents. It's hard to believe there's no fatalities yet. Like, when you hit the cakes with the bombs in them, you can't tell me that no one's blowing up from that. 
Who's parking their John Deere riding lawnmowers in the middle of the street? What is this, Michigan? They're on their way to Torval's farm. And they're driving Torval. The lore? Level 46, here we go. Quack's just like, I just constantly have to be building Spy Fox new scooters because he's getting into 12 car accidents every single level. <laughs> Spy Fox, the, the, the spy scooter is not a toy. <laughs> well, I think it is. It's so, it's just so fun. You know, normally Spy Fox mopeds are not meant to be, like, coming into physical contact with other vehicles on the road. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a problem, because <laughs> this is an action game. Oh, do people use the term tractor or lawnmower? Because I use those two terms interchangeably. Like, they're the same word to me. <laughs> That's because Quack has an exceptional sense of humor. Also, how did Quack make the duck blind if he couldn't see it? Is it like Beethoven making music that he can't hear? Oh, new music. For your fox only. I do like how each level has its own name. That That's a nice touch. That would be cool if the other humongous entertaining uh, junior arcade games had that. Although I feel bad for the sap who has to name every Balloonorama level. And every Sockworks level. Oh no! Well, this is awkward. <laughs> we, Spy Fox like runs this guy off the road and destroys his moped. He's like, haha, sucker. And then he immediately crashes in the exact same spot. He's just like, well, this is awkward. <laughs> I don't suppose that you have a cell phone that we can call an Uber together with. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we do. Duh. I got extra gas, but at the cost, I had to pick up some moldy cheese. You know, Spy Fox, some cultures consider moldy cheese a delicacy. Well, those cultures are bogus. <laughs> Who wants to eat cheese with mold growing on it? Like half the world, Spy Fox. <laughs> Whose idea was it to take cow's milk, leave it out for too long so that it gets moldy, then wait for it to get moldy again, and then eat it? <laughs> How m Who was the first person to do that? They must have been extremely desperately hungry. <laughs> I only eat really high quality food, Spy Fox. Like the blueprints for the spy gadgets I'm making. <laughs> Fountains of glory. Did you guys know that there's like a type of cheese out there? I don't know what what European country makes. It's some European country. It is like cheese with maggots crawling around in it. It's like, I'm sorry, what? I'm calling it there. If you eat that, there is something very, very wrong with you. And no, I, I am not going to apologize for saying that. I'm calling it like it is. Whose idea was it to make that? And it's like, yes, this is a delicacy. It's great. Everyone should eat it. It's, it's, you should pay premium for that. You can get cheese to eat and get a biology lesson all at the same time. Then again, I'm also new. Um, so a child's kite makes us disintegrate, but you can crash into a tree that's bigger than you are, and it just, it just, it, you know, the tree just gives up. It's like, oh, well, you're in a scooter, so, I mean, I, I guess this is it for me. Oof. You know, you really shouldn't be trying to crash into people on the road. It's dangerous. <laughs> wow, there are all... Who designed the roads in this city? <laughs> Who decided to put a fountain in the center of the road every five feet? <laughs> it seems like a road hazard. Level 49. Wow, this world has been 
cruising by. The living streetlights. If the streetlights start attacking me, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna call Monkey Penny and she can catch the Russian blue. <sighs> it's not like cheese is even that worth it. There, there are certain foods in different cultures where I'm just like, who is the first person to eat this? Like, what could have possible? What could the process possibly have been behind making this for the first time? Like, I think it's either like Norway or Denmark or something. They, they had there is a delicacy in one of those, one of those Norse countries where it's like, we take fish, we like dry it out, leave it out in the sun, then we like coat it in poison. Bury it underground in poison, then rinse the poison off with water, and then eat it. It's like, who did that? Who did that for the first time? And then was like, guys, no, I'm serious, you have to try it. It's like, actually really good. And how did they convince other people to try it? This isn't even a case of like, well, you know, they're poor and they're desperate because there's nothing to eat. Like, no, 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 no. You could have just eaten the fish. You had the fish, you could have cooked it, and then eaten it. But no, you, you then had to do this elaborate, like, 20-step process of coating it in poison and burying it in the sand. Like, who, who, how? Who and how, and why? This seems like one of those dumb things you'd expect people to do on TikTok. Be like, oh, wow, no, it's great, guys. It's like, no. If you saw it on TikTok, don't try it out. <laughs> this has been Artie's message for the day. This is a nice looking level. There we go. Alright, level 50. Presumably the halfway point of the game. Sesame Street. Hey, <laughs> I know that pun. It's like Sesame Street. Oh wait, I need the pie. I can't take out the vocal motorcycle gain if I don't have pies. <laughs> Can you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? Oh, sunny days, sleep weeping the clouds away. <laughs> On my way to Monkey Penny. <laughs> Please stand by. <laughs> Hello, Spy Fox. Monkey Penny, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Spy Fox, have you been watching PBS too much again? I would say there's like a 50% chance that is true. Well, for copyright reasons, Spy Fox, we can't call it Sesame Street. It's Sesame Street. Of course, gotta avoid getting sued. Spy Fox out. Wow, that world was way easier than the last one. But there we go. Two worlds down. And we only went ten minutes over time. Thanks for joining in, everybody. This is a blast to play. I'm actually having a lot of fun with Cheese Chase. Mainly just inventing fake dialogue for Spy Fox to not release A. That's the best part. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and God bless.